Hello everyone, Dave Landry here with DaveLandry.com. I'm getting a few requests for me to explain the current setups in the open portfolio, especially in light of this possible bear market that we have developing. First of all, there's a disclaimer screen, as you know, you can lose money trading. Or as I like to sum it up, all predictions are about the future, and a lot of stuff can happen between now and then. With that said, before we get into the actual setups, I just want to show you real quick my philosophy, or talk a little bit about my philosophy towards the markets. If the database is producing a lot of long side setups, then I know I want to be buying stocks. If it's producing a lot of shorts, then I want to think about shorting some stocks. And if it's not producing much, then I probably don't want to take any action. Now, ideally, you want the sector and the overall market to match what you're seeing in your setup. Unless, and of course, you have the greatest setup in the world. And I let the database tell me what to do. Sometimes you get a setup that looks so good, it's worth taking in spite of the overall market in the sector, but that's usually an exception to the norm. In fact, lately we haven't seen a whole lot of long side setups or anything worthwhile. And the reason is the market set up as a bow tie short on a weekly chart way back last summer. It did trigger in early September. It had a little bit of a throwback move, but it died out before it made new highs. So I don't want to get too much into the sell signal because we talked about this quite a bit in my recent YouTubes and Dave Langer's The Weekly Charts, so check those out if you get a chance. But we did have the sell signal working, and this is why I've been so concerned about the overall market and why I've been focusing mostly on the short side. And they, frankly, there just haven't been any good looking longs in quite a while. Now, here's the open portfolio. The purpose of this video is not to talk about the portfolio and the money management, position management, but I just want to show you what's going on. This is the actual portfolio. So after you take a look at these setups, you can back up the video and see when we got in, where we got in, where we took partial profits. If the, just one thing real quick, if the position is not highlighted or if half the position is not highlighted, that means we took partial profits half of the position off. If it's still in yellow, it's still open. The only exception would be, in this case, AIZ. This one hit the profit target a little while ago. So that one will now be uh, half white and half yellow. And the idea is to ride out a longer term trend on the remainder. Take a swing trade profit just in case things don't work out longer term and then hold on to a piece just in case they do. Kind of a have your cake and eat it too. And again, go to my YouTube channel. You can find plenty of information on that. First up, we have this MOH setup. Notice that it made an all-time high. At all-time highs, everyone is happy. So when we're trading these emerging trends, these market rollovers and these individual issues, we ideally want to find those positions that are those stocks that are at all-time highs. This way, everyone's happy. But as soon as the market begins to sell off, it starts to put pressure on the overall market. So anyone who owns the stock less than this level here will now be forced to make a decision either to hold on or bail out on that position. Notice we have a bow tie down, which just off of this marginal high here, which was almost an all-time high, forming a double top. Now, I don't trade directly off of classical technical analysis patterns, but I do like to see them set up within my setup. So, in other words, I like a bow tie coming off of a double top or a bow tie coming off of a double bottom. And as you'll see in a second, a, uh, maybe a first thrust or a pattern like that coming off of a cup and handle, or in this case, a, a converted cup and handle. But first of all, notice we did have the bow tie. We had a little bit of a pullback here. And let's take a look at what happened. The setup triggers here. Notice that it went against us a little bit initially. This is why I often do dead money reports because sometimes you get into position and sometimes they go against you. In fact, an old Wall Street adage is most shorts will go against you. And that seems to be the case. But as you can see, so far this stock is working out really nicely for us. We took partial profits and so far we're trailing a stock lower. Here's another setup. Notice an all-time high here. Again, everyone who owns a stock prior to this new high is happy. Unfortunately, as the stock begins to sell off, they begin to, they begin to question their position. We have another high here, so this forms a double top. Also, those of you who are familiar with the cup and handle pattern might recognize that as an inverted cup and handle. My particular setup in this particular case was a first thrust with a sharp thrust lower, followed by a pullback. Now, let's take a look at what happened to this one. As you can see, this is the setup back here. Here's your trigger. Again, when it gets us a little bit initially, but so far it's worked out fairly nicely for us on the downside. Here's another setup here. This is AIZ, all-time highs. This is an insurance company. It made a bow tie, pulled back a little bit. And as you can see, after a bit of a slow start and quite a bit of a retrace in here, it has begun to sell off in earnest. In fact, this one just hit the profit target today. I think it's down about 15% as I'm recording this uh, video. Today is uh, February 10th, 2000. And 16, by the way. DY, this is a material construction stock. Notice it made all time highs. Made a nice little thrust lower. 
in here. This is what I call a persistent pullback, or just a, you can call it a generic pullback if you like. But nice uh, persistent trend lower, a little bit of a pullback in here. And then from this, so far we've had a nice little trend lower in this particular stock. And again, we took partial profits along the way and we trailed the stock lower. Now this one's a little wide and loose. When I actually first showed this setup to my clients, I said, I'll probably never show this as an example of what to buy or sell short, I should, should say, in this particular case, because it was a little wide and loose. But I did like the way that it made all-time highs, and I did like the sharp thrust lower. And I think that sort of negates this wide and loose action back here, especially since we were down below all of this trading. And remember, uh, read the GoGo Nomo report on my website, but anybody who buys in this area, when the market drops below this area, may be looking to get out at break even when the market rallies up back to it. By the way, sometimes I use the word market and stock interchangeably. I think markets are markets. I prefer more inefficient markets such as stocks, but the same patterns work in all markets, whether it's stocks, an index, or forex. Forex, he tried to say. So anyway, this is CCL, nice little thrust lower. You can see here's the first thrust pattern. And so far, we had a nice little ride lower in that one. And again, taking partial profits along the way and trailing that stop lower. So back the video up a little bit. Check out the portfolio to see when we got any stocks. If you have any questions, Dave at DaveLandry.com. Thank you, everyone, and may the trend be with you.